What's up everybody, welcome back. Thank you for the support on the other two parts. Three parts. I can't remember how many I uploaded, but we're gonna continue uploading this and Sonic. Um Again, let me know what y'all want to see next. I'm thinking about just doing Modern Warfare 2. Of course, it's going to be Modern Warfare 2, but I don't know if it's going to be for the Xbox or the PS5. Eh. Eh. Oh, well. We'll see tomorrow. But let's hop into this. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. What was I doing last time? Oh, yeah. Turns out I did get it. know what so far I am enjoying this game I just need to get the combat down just a little bit more better <laughs> that was a kick. Target down. I want to know what this is and if I could do anything with it. Nista! Oh dang, I didn't even see him. They cap those geysers? All right, I guess I got to interact with it later. Right side. I blocked that one. Good show. I did not mean to throw it. <sighs> Those things are everywhere. Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Okay, we froze one of those guys. Is there another one somewhere?
Hey, did that geyser up there just hit stronger? When you froze the geyser, the pressure must have changed for the ones around it. Okay, can't do that. Maybe there's a vantage point. We can get a better look. Yeah, I'm looking for one. That's dwarven ingenuity for ya. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. Especially where gods are concerned. Life lessons. It seems, Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavalir. Brother, look! That strange bugger popped back out of the ground again! It's too fast! Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. <laughs> okay. How about to say that thing is a little bit too smart. <laughs> you did it! Let's see what it dropped. It dropped a lot. Father, up there. Alright, I'm getting the hang of this. Halfway there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Oh, I thought... You know what? Never mind. Honestly, I just like beating them down.
Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. I thought that was pretty straightforward the first time we did it. Rock's coming down. Look, there's a chain we can pull up there. Okay, so no. <laughs> okay, I thought it was gonna be that easy. There's still the other chain to pull, but how are we gonna get to it? There's something else we can hit? You know what, I'm gonna cut until I figure this out. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I think I figured it out. Okay. Nice one. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Can you see anything from that block? You can't climb up there? Seriously? What about freezing the guys around the wheel? Maybe? Fair enough.
That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. You think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Thumble Winter. Maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of you, brothers. Hey! Dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body, and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Could we talk we to you for... any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. <laughs> I knew he'd left something behind. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for our replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! I find it's best to see these things... In action! Ah! Whew! There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. Awesome. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlers in need of a leader. How was I supposed to know they were there? Brother, get up! Brother! That didn't just happen. <clears throat> No! 
Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. Uh, I'm gonna just check something real quick. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. A magical stone that revives one from death with a small amount of health. Press square when down to allow your companion to resurrect the fallen. Okay. I, I, I think I might need that. Till we meet again! Best of luck! Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Tavern's yeah. around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. That is true for some people. Fear does keep them alive. Uh, let's just keep moving. It also keeps them from not living, but... A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. You know. Quite a sharp witch she had until she turned to... Where subtle means. I did not know you could carve up in the wall. Okay, you can only do a light attacks. I think I see something. Sorry to bother you. Tell him something, please bugger off. If you're not selling something, uh, please kindly bugger off. seeing if I missed anything. Okay, no.
I just backtrack. I need to get over there or across this bridge. See, I didn't expect him to blow up stuff. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree, and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess. What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Oh. 
Okay, side quest. We're gonna go ahead and knock this out. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. The Dwarven Compass and Map can guide Kratos to objectives. Press left side, the touchpad button to jump to the map. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Earlier, Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ugh. Those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. <laughs> Mimir. Were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. <laughs> Too high. I gotta get closer. Looks like your axe is due for some attention. Whatever you need. This axe just keeps getting stronger. By the way, if you're headed to the mining rigs in the bay, could you bring me any slag you find? I could use the material for my crafting. Uh... 
Yes, I was a trick, and yes, I did get tricked, but I figured it out, and that is the important part. No, it's still here. What? The island near the geyser. We need to get the key from it and unlock the door. We need... I need to set right to very old wrong. Bloody drogger holes! We've got to clear out all these undead bastards! Oh! Oh, roll, roll, get out the fire! Another drogger to the left! Oh! Oh! But you probably already know that! Oh! Oh! Come on, I dodged that. Random boss fight out of nowhere. <laughs> what you looking at? Oh, where's that bird at? Right here. I don't know how I missed that one. That was right on target. Alright, last try. 
Okay, this is the last try. Yeah. Hey. Alright, what are we doing? Oh, did I already complete it? Oh, yeah, I guess I did. Okay, I did do it. Then where's my key? <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's fine. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. <laughs> I know it was anticlimactic. Um, remember, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to see y'all in the next part. All right, everybody, be good.